Hello everyone, I'm Monkey Feathers and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome for the first time, and if you're returning, welcome back. We're back in Little Nightmares 2, it's a new day, and we just finished burning up a very bad doctor. I can't even crawl into here, so I can't see what it- I can't see what he looks like. I guess he probably fell down and broke the crate. Or whatever. So, cool. And now we gotta figure out what's next. What's next? Come, help me up. Where do I go next? Also, I do want to continue to reiterate that six is. Evil. Because with her in the last episode, just sitting in front of the fire, warming her hands. I don't trust her. So. Looks like I'm still in the hospital. Okay, can we both look at the camera? We can't really both look at the camera. Ooh. And it always is interesting. I get that the front flashlight's kind of bright, but the fact that she doesn't want to look at anywhere near the light. She's a vampire. It's a vampire. Can I do anything with this? Can you help me with this? I don't need your help, apparently. Can I... I can get a soda, but I can't do anything with the soda. How many can I get? Oh, that's it. Do you wanna do you want a soda? Do you want a soda? Do you want a soda? I have you a gift. Will you accept my soda? I will get on one knee. Accept my soda. Well, alright. Can't. Can't do much in in here. I, more in here, I guess. And I guess the ceiling's leaking, so I guess it's probably raining outside still. Is there anything closer to the camera? Nope. Help me lift. I wonder what the next area is, after all. After all that with the hospital, what could it be? It's interesting as well with this game that with the boundary line, it's, I guess, less square. I didn't realize I was falling at all. It's less square. It's, uh, in the first game, it felt very defined. Like, almost like you were in a box. Didn't expect to fall down a hole. I didn't expect that to be my exciting trip. And these... Am I just a dream? Is that what I am? Can I fish too? I can't even grab the fishing pole. 
Interesting as well that six didn't come down after me. Yeah, those... First, I'll finish with a statement. Yeah, the boundary line seems very... open, but, but a defined boundary line, whereas in the first game it always felt kind of like you were in a box. Like you were moving in a three-dimensional box. And that might not, that might not make sense as I struggle to, to speak, but that is just kind of how it seems. Like they really redefined and refreshed how they designed their games when it came to the second one. And hopefully for the third one when that one is finally released. But then what I was going to say in regards to those shadow things... I want to know what they are. Because my character responds to them in a way that... Like he's glitching out. Like he's on a TV. Like he's a... Uh, a machine. He, like he's not real. What is... What is that falling? I almost got a little too close to the edge and fell off. What is that? Oh, are those close? Those might be close. As I'm thinking about it. Yeah, maybe those are close. That's not close. That's something else. Your body. But you made a sound, like you were alive. There's so much! I want to know. Am I in a new station? Like cool jazz. 97.2. Of course I'm gonna get a little closer and see what this what's up with this guy. And he doesn't look like he has a face, so I don't think I'm too worried about being seen. It doesn't even matter because Mr. Look, we all consume a lot of TV. I don't think this was the answer. There are many other options to enjoy entertainment. So I want to know why that guy ended up... ...bashing his head into a TV. What does it mean? What does it mean? Is he just because he consumes too much television? And he thought that the only way he can consume more television is if he Uh-huh. If he just bashes his head in. If I touch you, what will happen? Cause you're sure twitching. What happens if I touch you? He yells at me with the force of the sun's gravity that forces me into the ground. That is what happens. I... <laughs> okay. Didn't expect that to be... So I guess it really is something to do with the television. Like subliminal messages being sent out to people 
through the television. It makes sense a little bit, because my... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it makes a lot more sense than I would have expected. Because these people look normal. Not, not normal because they're twitching, but normal. But I wonder if these people start to become the guests that end up on that boat. And so they're told to go to that ship so that they can then go to the door that Six ends up at when the first game ends. So maybe that's what it is. That it's like a subliminal message that says, hey, get to the this boat and you'll eat children and... then eventually you'll be murdered by Six because Six goes on a rampage. If you were still alive, I would be shocked. Because you look like you are in the tub with the television going. What are you watching? Hey, what are you watching? Hey, what's the show that you're trying to watch? Let me see do. So I'm wondering if that's what's happening, is they're getting their subliminal messages being sent to them so that they can then go on the boat to then go to the door. Six, you almost pushed me right off the cliff. Not like I'm surprised because you're a murderer. Oh, you want my help? You almost pushed me off the cliff the first time. I almost died because I didn't make the jump. So we're going up. Cool, Six. What does this do for us? I'm gonna leave you. Bye, Six. Bye, Six. Bye, Six. Maybe I should care, but I'm leaving you. I actually wonder if that was what I'm supposed to do. Is leave her. A little curious. What are you doing, Six? Oh, you think I can let you in? I don't have a key. Hmm. Perhaps I was supposed to go this way. Yeah. I almost thought that I was uh, like I was trapped. Like I wasn't supposed to be here yet because I was supposed to get the key somewhere else. Okay, six, stop. I'll help you. But I'm gonna go back down because. I want to go this way. I can't go that way. Oh, because that's actually where I think I came from. I'm... okay. I was like, hey wait, there's like this new place over here and I could go there, but... It's not a new place. It's not a new anything. Help me get up. Help me get back up, Six. I wondered if I was supposed to get back up on- I thought that I was supposed to get up on the top of the elevator, but I wasn't sure how I was supposed to do it. And so running on the outside of the blocks and everything, I was like, oh, maybe. But it wasn't quite doing it. So I guess I just had to flip a switch and do it that way. What am I going to find over here? A, a graphic boy twitching on the bed. It's a bird with a jar on its head. I was going to say a pot on its head, but it's not a pot, it's a jar. Where to now, Six? Let's run away. I don't think we get to run away together because I'm pretty sure 
You murder me. I'm the first thing you murder. That's quite... Quite a view. Alright. This game is very expansive. That's something that has been consistent with my description of this game. Come on, get up. Is it took the first game and you just being stuck in one place, which was the boat, and it threw you in a city. With buildings that are crumbling, with people that are going crazy. So many different scenarios you get to work with. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh, almost got it, almost got it, almost got it. Come on, Six, you got it, you got it? Okay. I wondered if she would have jumped and fell off the cliff. And that would have been the end of Six, as we know it. I know. It's also interesting that Six is the one that helps the boy up. Because Six is super strong, but the boy isn't. She's always the one that's throwing him up to get on ledges. She's the one that's catching him so that... He doesn't fall to his death. Six be strong up in here. Six be strong up in here. What are you doing, Six? Come on. I don't need you not following me. Hold on. Was that the door open too? Oh, come on. Can I not get back out? I have no idea then if the other window was open. Come on. Yeah, I can't jump and grab the ledge. So if the other window was open, I have no idea now. And I can't pull it, so I don't know. Probably missing something. Something important. Um, um, um. Everything's falling. What's going on? What am I supposed to do? The ceiling's coming down on me. I'm dead. I'm... I'm dead sooner than I anticipated. What am I supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Am I supposed to run this way? Okay, so I don't... Yeah, um... Probably should have come in here. Can we push... We can push the door! I thought I was gonna have to find some type of... knob. But I have to escape a building that's falling down, because of course I have to escape a building that's falling down. Why is Six running faster than me? Why is everything... I guess I was supposed to do that. I was about to say, why is everything so wrong? Six! No! How is Six still alive? And with functioning legs. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you want my help? Because I, I think it's for the best for society that you stay there. But, alright. I will be sort of nice and help you. Because you won't kill me. 
and everyone else. And her legs are fine. They didn't snap like twigs like I think they would have in reality. It would be best for all society if Six didn't make it out. I've got a toy for you. Fetch it. The bed doesn't bounce. I'm disappointed. Is there anything under the bed? Is there a monster under the bed besides me? And Six, if Six followed me under the bed. I also don't like that I don't have my flashlight anymore. I liked being able to see what was in the dark. But I don't have a flashlight. But there's a TV that I'm gonna have to go and shut off again. No, not again. It's always hard to kind of figure out how to shut the TV off find the right frequency. And this is where I find out that Six just leaves me in here. In the television. Am I closer to it? It seems like I'm actually a lot closer to it. Am I gonna reach it this time? I am. What's on the other side? Well, hello. Uh huh. Oh, that just sent chills down my back. Oh, that just sent chills down my back. I was not expecting that. I guess I just set him free. I opened the door to let him out. I didn't realize that I can move. I thought that I was still in a cutscene, and I was just watching as he was making his escape attempt. I didn't realize I could move. So cool. Wow. I am running from basically a Slenderman type figure. I'm leaving you six. I'm running from Slenderman. So I guess all the the glitches are not me, but they are people who've been taken by Slenderman. And I guess I'm gonna have to go into the television. I am going to go in the television next time and leave that as a cliffhanger because I don't know what's going to happen. I didn't realize that I was going to be fighting Slenderman. And I really don't know what his name is, but he's basically Slenderman. Because he's a faceless, long-armed individual. He is that. Oh, man. 
I wonder how many more areas there are in this. How much longer there is to this game. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying that this game stepped up the creep factor. That they stepped up a lot when making this game. So I really want to know. I want to know how it ends. Well, I have a vague idea of how it's possibly going to end. But I, wa I want to see how it's going to end. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.